you know, there are some songs that when you first hear it, you can tell the song is going to take you to a place that you can feel every bit of what the artist is singing. There are songs that when you first hear it, you be like, I can feel their pain or what they're going through. There are songs when you first hear it, you say to yourself, man, it have to be some truth to it. One particular song, you can hear their pain or feel yourself saying there's some truth to it is the single, I Wish It Would Rain by The Temptations. So today we'll be taking a deep dive into the story behind the single, I Wish It Would Rain by The Temptations. I Wish It Would Rain is one of those iconic songs that when you first hear it, you can tell it was going to be a hit. Especially when you hear David Ruffin's voice, you just knew it was going to be one of those special songs. Even though the song, I Wish It Would Rain, has success peaking at number four on the Billboard Hot 100 pop charts and number one on the Billboard R&B singles charts, there is a dark side to the story. So let's take it back months before the single came out. In 1967, The Temptation around this time was one of the biggest groups. Matter of fact, one of the biggest R&B groups in the world. And they had great hits from the previous years like My Girl, Since I Lost My Baby, Beauty Only Skin Deep, Ain't Too Proud to Beg, I Know I'm Losing You, and many more. Now, they started working on their next project that was called The Temptation Wish You a Rain album. And while recording this album, the group was getting truly fed up with David Ruffin. The fact that he was missing shows, missing rehearsals, being late, his addiction to cocaine. He was out of control with his ego and thinking he was above the group. You can tell his ego was getting to him so bad that when Barry Gordy decided to change the Supremes to Diana Ross and the Supremes, David thought it was okay to tell Barry Gordy that The Temptations should change their name to David Ruffin and The Temptations. And from that standpoint, the group was fed up, but they wanted to get through the album and then deal with him later. And before I go any further, let me say this. You know, what's crazy is that I used to think money changed people, but really, money don't change you. Money reveal who you truly are. So if you was a jerk, then you just become a bigger jerk. That's all. And I guess that was one of the things about David. Once he started making money, his true character came out. Another layer to the story that makes it interesting is that the songwriter that actually wrote this song, I Wish It Would Rain, wrote this song from his real life situation that happened to him. And his name was Roger Pensabini. Now, before I go any further, let me say this. Roger was becoming a good songwriter. He was the next up and coming songwriter. He wrote songs like, You Are My Everything for the Temptations, End of Our Road by Gladys Knight and the Pimps, that was a hit. He also wrote Don't Miss Me a Little Bit Baby by Jimmy Ruffin. And also he wrote I Wish It Would Rain. See, what inspired Rogers to write a song like I Wish It Would Rain and I Could Never Love Another After Loving You was in the spring of 1967. He had caught his wife having an affair with another man. It truly destroyed him, and he just couldn't handle the pain and the betrayal of what his wife did to him. So most of the songs he wrote for The Temptation, he was pouring his feelings into the lyrics. So when The Temptation released the single, I Wish It Would Rain, a week later, Roger committed suicide on New Year's Eve. He was only 23 years old. You know, the song I Wish It Would Rain would be covered by other artists like Gladys Knight and the Pimps, Aretha Franklin, and also Marvin Gaye. But no one did it like The Temptations. It had been 55 years since the song I Wish It Would Rain was released. And honestly, the impact of the song will always be one of those songs that will always stand the test of time. Also, the album The Temptation Wish It Would Rain album was the last album the original five, David, Paul, Eddie, Melvin, and Otis was on. And this was also David Ruffin's last album he ever done with The Temptations. Even though David, Melvin, Paul, and Eddie been gone for years now, the way their music connects and inspire people is incredible. And their legacy and music will always live on. 
RIP to you guys. And also RIP to Roger Pennsylvania as well. Also, shout out to Mr. Otis. He's still doing his thing at 80 years old. God bless you. So what do you guys think about the story behind the single, I Wish It Would Rain by The Temptations? And how did it impact your life? Let us know in the comment section below. And while you are to check our other videos for music like Network, see you next time.